And greetings, I am Resplendent Seraph, and we are going to be playing some more. Hey, Maxie, how are you, my friend? Resplendent Seraph! <laughs> what greetings, Maxie? Good to see you. Good to see you, Captain Maxie. How are you, my friend? Greetings, everybody. Uh, we're going to be playing some Fallout 4 tonight. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get nice deep into the meat of the Automatron DLC. Uh, this splendid evening, as we have a resplendent sunset behind us, a good old Florida sunset, doing good, watching Winter Soldier now. Ah, excellent, excellent. That was such a good Marvel movies, uh, the whole um, Captain America movies. Hey, Dark Star, greetings. All hope dies in the, all hopes dies in the Commonwealth, right? <laughs> oh man. So I'm looking forward to tonight. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through the entirety of Automatron in just one sitting. Usually it does take anywhere between eh, three to five hours. It depends on how sidetracked I get. And as we all know, uh I had, do have somewhat of a tendency to get sidetracked playing Fallout, but I think that's par for the course of the whole Fallout experience. Yeah, almost everything up to Endgame is really fun to watch. Um, I, yeah, I would, yeah, I would say, yeah, with almost like only one or two exceptions, uh, they were just amazing. Um, it's it's kind of unfortunate that the, the quality sort of fell off a cliff after that. Then it was sort of inverted where there were a couple of diamonds in the rough, but for the most part, it's like a lot of snooze fests. Uh, so I'm not really sure what happened there. I don't know if they got a new writing team or if they just put all, you know, that it was just all hands on deck to get the whole Infinity War endgame storyline all set forth. And they were like, all right, let's keep going. But by that point, um, most of the creative energy had already been exhausted in one spot. I'm not really sure what the story was with that, but um, but that's all right. We still enjoy the really, the really, really good and that peak of Marvel uh, cinema. Man, what a peak that was. Uh, to some extent, maybe it was just unsustainable to keep making things that good. I'm not really sure. But uh, but yeah, no, all oh, such 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 good stuff. Um, but yeah, last time, okay, so re quick recap. Last time we played Fallout, which was Sunday night, um, we liberated the castle, we maxed out Piper's affinity, and we uh ended up rescuing, well, we dealt with the raiders that were harassing Oberlin Station. And things are starting to come together now in the Commonwealth. So the way we're going to kind of handle this is we're going to end up dealing with the, at least the plan in Seraph's head. <laughs> we're going to see if this, this comes to fruition or not. But at least the idea would be uh, we'll do a couple of quests for the Brotherhood because it's kind of on the way. And then once we're done with that, depending also on where Halen's quest ends up taking us, and then we'll swing by Watts Consumer Electronics will respond to that distress call. And at that point, the mechanist will be the threat to the uh, burgeoning faction that we're trying to build. And, and then it just kind of makes sense. And the story at that point does, it would make sense for us as the general, just getting our feet like under us and getting everything situated for this menace to show up. And it's like, all right, we're, we're going to have to deal with this. And we're the one, yeah, someone has to deal with this and that's going to be us. And so without any further ado here let's get the mod manager set up we'll get things going here um how's everybody's week going <laughs> i was hanging out with a bunch of uh bunch of streamers prior to uh stream hung out with deadful for a little bit hung out with freakbot for a little bit those streams are great and amazing yeah yeah they just want to get individual movies out which makes sense you know that's manageable not everything has to be this gigantic epic overarching story that's also logistically just easier to pull off um i ha to be honest though i haven't even seen a lot of the new ones i'm kind of going off of feedback with a lot of my friends who have seen it so you know to be fair i haven't myself seen basically anything anything new um so i don't know from personal experience but you get a good sense of things just from other people. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm I'm going out on a limb by trusting my friend's judgment. Yeah, it's true. The writing subpar. <laughs> so let's make sure I can hear everything good. Our levels look good. Perfect. All right. It's always nice when things just work out. 
we're gonna load. Yep, we dealt with the federal ration stockpile. Never trust anyone judgment but your own. That is also very true, but there, to some extent, you get a sense of whose judgment you can usually trust who has similar taste in movies. Like whenever Freakbot or Rob the Wonderful um, talk, about a, talk about a movie, I could usually um, trust that their judgment's pretty good. All right, let's go to this. Let's go to this location. We'll discover this. We'll get some XP for that. Oh, wow, we need some health too. Wow, that's a hell of a rainstorm we just walked our walked ourselves into. Loki series and uh, what if a fire is heck though? Oh, good to know. So if I do see any of them, those will be what I what I would then check out. But for the most part, there's only so much time in the day. Plus, with all my studies, not that you would necessarily know, because I stream a decent amount. <laughs> but oh, was up there. let's extend the satellites. That may have been McCready talking. Yeah, it was probably McCready. I don't see anything else here. All right, and now once these extend, we will get a new... Yep, there's a distress signal. Oh, and a garbled radio beacon. So uh, with these, what that means... And usually I don't follow these, but... We go to the distress signal. Hey, cat. So she's whispering something about a train car. Well, so train car, they're right over here. And so what they're talking about here, I think, is the overturned one which we haven't gotten into up until this point, but now we may as well check it out. Okay, so I think it's either here. Maybe it's this one. Maybe not. Could be this train car. I mean, it could just be that the ghouls got here. But I feel like it's an overturned train car is the one where... Um, that signal comes from. Uh, maybe. Oh shit. That's a super mutant. Question is where? Okay, let's figure out where these super mutants are. Fuck. Hey, are they over there? Shit, 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 shit. Okay, uh, <laughs> studies, ancient, cur ancient cursed artifact studies, no, 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 uh, <laughs> just academic journals, stuff like that. So my dissertation is going to be on academic freedom, so I read a lot of academic journals constantly. Uh, there really hasn't been an objectively bad MCU movie or post-game era, but there's some of them could use more time in the oven and others who should ignore the public's whining about movie or show. Uh, so probably just like, okay, instead of great, so they just look poor by comparison to what was before. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't think anything was objectively bad, but when you're talking about, mm, you know, spending $30 at the movie theater, it's like, eh, maybe just catch it on Netflix later. <laughs> uh, the Eternals is what I would consider the lowest part so far. And the Marvel Marvels wasn't very good and She-Hulk wasn't great. I did not hear good things about She-Hulk. Uh, but again, didn't see it myself, so I don't, I don't really know. Uh, the Marvels is shut your brain off, stupid fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, so as long as you don't think about it, it's fun. But uh, hey, cat! Cat joined us. You know, one of these days I gotta hook up my other webcam and get up a cat, get a cat cam so everybody can see Cleo as she comes to hang out. She was super mad earlier. Oh my goodness, she wanted me to go over to bed. Okay, I hear these fuckers. I don't know, maybe it's better off for me to just mm. avoid them. It might be better off just avoiding these assholes. Let's see, where... Okay, I wanted that. Uh, no, I want drinks. Okay, there we go. I can only read, right? Are they in here? Is this where they are? I hear them, I just don't know where they are. 
<laughs> but I know these super mutants are around here somewhere. Yep, here they are. Oh boy. Let's see. Do I want to... Well, our frag grenade's open. Somewhere. Okay, we got to jump on them. Alright, so now, I think the problem is that so many people expect every MCU project to be a building block towards the next big epic story. Yeah, and if that's uh, somebody's expectation, that's um, just going to lead them to disappointment. It's true. That's what they're going for, though. They already have uh, next Avengers planned. Yeah, to be honest, I, I've been out of loop on what um, their actual plan really is. Man, the lighting looks beautiful right now. Holy smokes. This game can be really pretty. Just kind of amazing, considering even with mods. The fact that this is a 2015 ish game oh we're getting raided dead fool what's up my friend <laughs> long time no see it's been all of uh it's been all of like 20 minutes <laughs> greeting ah nikki thank you for the handling the shout out there <laughs> so I'd, I'd, I'd say how are you but i, I have a pretty good idea <laughs> so we just got started with fallout here Nikki with the millisecond shout out reaction. No kidding. She is the best mod on Twitch. Uh, she is she is always on point. Why, thank you, Nikki. I do appreciate it. <laughs> what up, dead fool? <laughs> so it's funny, I watch I watch so many Sea of Thieves str streamers, and yet I have I never have ooh, there's corn. I never have any idea what on earth is ever going on in that game. Uh, I got you. <laughs> That's why she's the best in the biz. Oh, stop. <laughs> no, it's true. Uh, melon planter. Yeah, we don't need melon, but the corn, corn we definitely want. Let's see. Did anything else show up in here? Nope. We got silk bean. Perfect. Okay. So the idea here is we're just going to do, oh, God damn it. More super mutants. These fuckers. See, the only death we've had in this game, same here, and I have it since day one. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, God. Okay, so this is going to be fucking terrible. There's the suicider. Okay. Let's see. If we do this right, we could blow these fuckers up. There we go. So that worked just according to plan. <laughs> Whoop. I see a couple of comments in there. Give me two seconds. Let me handle this super mutant. There we go. Okay. All right, bro. Rate it out before I could catch that last quote. <laughs> Those quotes are amazing. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to actually see the list of those quotes. Those are hilarious. Now, where did we blow up those? Oh, okay, here are all the super mutants. So let's take the nuclear material. All right, so that worked out very well. Okay, so uh, for anybody that didn't, might not have known what just happened there, uh, there are super mutants which carry a mini nuke on them and they kind of carry it like a football and their sole job is to just charge at you and then throw the uh, mini nuke down at the floor. <laughs> that is so perfect. I love that sound alert. <laughs> So we're also gonna cross this bridge. Uh, so yeah, we're 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 making we're making way out of here. Um, <laughs> so yes, getting getting on with it. Um, if you shoot the mini nuke, it will go off before it can get to you. And like in that case, there were a bunch of super mutants all clustered together, and so we were able to just take all of them out in one gigantic glorious explosion. Um, sometimes I try to actually take out the super mutant suicider before because I'd rather have the mini nuke most of the time but we don't really have a lot of mini nukes yet and we're also going to get a mini nuke here okay let's see what, what do we got here we're going to clear out this uh, I think we're going to try to clear this out yeah headshot time oh, except that Seraph missed Boom, Boom, <laughs> I did technically get the headshot there I just didn't kill him Whoa, that was a headshot. His fucking head exploded. That was glorious. 
There we go. Headshot again there. All right, got a couple there. Let's run. Let's run. Damn it, they still managed to get me. Where is it? I think we got him. Got her. Oh, shit, that's bustable. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't run headfirst into that flaming inferno. Okay, so this is a little chaotic. Let's run over here. I see a thing by Nikki, but I, <laughs> if I, unless I pause it, I'm going to be shit out of luck here. Okay, but give me two seconds, Nikki. I will read that in just a moment. Okay. This raider is just over. All right, now we got that. Uh, but we need that list. I don't know how we got to quote 54. <laughs> Seriously, that was awesome. We're splitting all that, right? Okay, so we got all the raiders. Managed to get me down to half... Uh, Ooh, you know what? We'll take whiskey because we can make something useful with whiskey. Now, where was that mini nuke? The mini nuke should be downstairs. Mm -hmm. There also should be a nice magazine in here. Time to loot. Yep, there it is. Wasteland Survival Guide. Now we permanently heal 50% more from fruits and veggies. We'll take Jet. We love Kim's. Turn off that radio. Thought there was a mini nuke in here. Well, we'll take the frag mine. We need that. We need antiseptic. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, just go to the chat page. Shut it in. <laughs> but we need that list. I don't know how we got to quote 54. <laughs> oh, it's great. We'll take the whiskey bottle. I could actually sleep, but we're not going to do that. Maybe I'm misremembering. I thought there was a mini nuke in this um, on this ship. I could be misremembering, though. It's been a while since we played since we played this. So the idea here is we're uh, we're going to be doing a DLC tonight. And um, the DLC is called Automatron. And good, we got ammo out of that. Perfect. We're looking good here. And oh, we'll take some buff out. We don't need the gumdrops. And yes, more more frag mine. We used all the frag mines uh, much earlier. Ooh, we got an ammo box. Nothing up here. Nope, nothing up here. And uh, anyway, so the, uh, that's going to be the plan. Uh, so why is the rum going? Because yeah, uh, we're going to be drinking that. But uh, I've, I'm actually not, I don't remember what the whiskey is used for. Uh, but there is whiskey and then there's rum, I think. You know, I think. You know, now I'm, although now I'm doubting myself. Is there rum and whiskey? I think there is rum and whiskey. So we've cleared that. Now, did it give me credit for clearing it? That's another story. No, it didn't give me credit for it. That's super lame. That's okay. We got... No, there's really no... Damn. All right. Well, whatever. So now we'll cruise up here. And we'll do that quest for the Brotherhood, which essentially is just... Whoops. We don't want to fall in that. Seraph tries to get a drink without stopping. That was probably stupid of me. Okay, so this is CIT. Now, pre-war, we know what this was. This is the, this is essentially MIT, but for the Fallout universe, it's the Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Good. And there's a bunch of radioactive barrels there, so we're not getting any closer to that. We'll just let that be. Now I'll cruise over here. And we will, oh. Let's also heal. Let's heal. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about dying. There we go. Perfect. The rum constantly disappearing in between streams is why I went back to wine for the past month or so. So fun story with Seraph and wine. Wine completely fucks me up. On one hand, it's <laughs> makes me a very cheap date when it comes to wine. But uh, I don't know what it is about wine, but I could have probably just like one glass and I will be completely loopy. Although when it comes to <laughs> imagine drinking. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, but in general, I'm kind of a lightweight when it comes to most drinks. You know what? While we're here, we could. You know what? While we're here, let's do fraternal post 115. We could clear this location really fast. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
So remember what I said earlier about getting sidetracked? That's already started to happen. Don't worry. I think you'll still be entertained by this shit. Okay, we managed to get the jump on Deadeye here. We'll take his grenade. We will definitely take guns and bullets because we do want the magazine. Get ammo. Boom. I'm so glad I added the Monty Python get on with it. What I need to do is get... So for, I assume everybody here has seen wine moderation is easy. When my uh, Ren Fair mug holds a whole 750 milliliters bottles worth. Still counts as one drink at that point, right? Yeah, that still counts as one drink. I would say so. So we'll turn off the radio here. And once we pull this circuit, actually, did we already complete? Yeah, we already cleared this. Okay, we are not gonna pull that circuit breaker, but if we pull the circuit breaker, certain mutants come from everywhere and it's one gigantic fight. But maybe, let's just get the hell out of here. Since we already got credit for clearing the location. We got the magazine, we cleared it, let's get the hell out. So now we're going to go up to the police station, talk to Knight Reese. He's going to tell us to clear out the subway. That's just a block north of the police station. And we'll cruise through there. So we're still fairly early. We're only level 20, I think. And um, let me check. Let's go to our stats here. Status. Yep. Okay. We're level 23. And uh, so things we've done so far, uh, we Kind of what we got. How familiar are you with? Oh, fuck. Fucking super mutants. I hate these fuckers. Oh, Jesus. And of course, it's a legendary fucker. You son of a bitch. Mary, shithead. Okay. Fortunately, the other super mutant, <laughs> the free legendary heal BS. Yeah, that does suck. Ooh, we got a resilient laser pistol, though. Uh, eh, that's actually not all that good. Fuck, man. They're still fucking us with the legendaries. But we are still pretty early in the game. Ooh, we'll take the shot glass. And so, uh, yeah, basically, depending on how much you know about the Fallout universe, very, very, very quickly abridged version. There are vaults. Uh, we went into a vault uh, when the bombs started to drop with the Great War. And this one turned out it was a cryo vault. So we go into this cryopod. Uh... Oh, like, just give him double HP instead, so it's not as visually disheartening. Right? Like, that's it's so aggravating. But if you take them out in one hit, they don't get to reheal. It only counts if they take any, if they if you reduce them to half damage. If you just kill them outright, they don't get that reheal bullshit. Um, so anyway, uh, we we emerged out of a chiropod, and for us, it was like five minutes, but for the rest of the world, it was like 210 years. And so we're trying to figure out. Uh, where our kidnapped son has gone and uh, avenge our, in this case, I, I'm playing as a, uh, I ended up playing as a female character. So our husband died. Um, and so we're going to try and get revenge for him and find the same bastard who kidnapped our son. And that's the objective that we're doing here. And we basically, at this point, it's still so early. We don't really know who kidnapped our son or where they've gone. We really don't have many leads. And so, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty early. See you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. She shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think she has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. So Reese is a total asshole. Nobody fucking likes this guy. Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you... You need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army, and we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. 
If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. That won't be a problem. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you- Power armor looks so awesome. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. Yeah, totally, totally not a cult. Uh, it looks like there's an incoming ad break. I'm just gonna pause this real quick and we'll be back in a couple of seconds. <laughs> well, our message totally just went, so I don't know if that ad is running now or not. I think that ad is running, but uh, we'll just give it a couple of seconds and then hopefully Twitch tells me when everybody comes back. Because this is a story, this is kind of an important story moment. So I'd really rather not, um, I'd really rather not continue if it's just going to get missed um, with a stupid ad. I wish it would tell me. I don't know why, like it'll warn me that an ad is coming, but then it doesn't tell me when it's actually running so i don't know maybe i should have just hit the one minute ad and just gone and taken a break real quick but we just kind of got started so i don't want to take i don't really want to take a break but uh ah there it goes so now it's finally telling me ad break ends in 25 seconds <laughs> so I'll, so for my subscribers we could chat real quick uh while we wait for everybody else to come back here um uh let's see let's Who's up to chat? Uh, okay, so no, we, we're, we're pretty much caught up on chat. Uh, yeah, that free legendary heal thing is just very annoying. Um, it's unfortunate that it didn't give us a better legendary item, but that's okay. Once, uh, once, once we get through this dialogue, I'll check and maybe we'll break down those items. So we should be back and now we can kind of continue. I want, it's at least nice when it tells me when the ad is done running so that nobody misses anything plot important. I don't think there was anything plot important here, but I did, but I just want to make sure. Me when I heal 200 times during a boss fight. Me when the boss heals once, right? Oh my God. Once we're done with that, with the conversation, Maxi, I will give my, I will ha I'm more than happy to go on a rant about boss fight healing and all that crap. From this moment forward, <laughs> I'm granting you the rank of initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Thank you. Thanks are necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. She doesn't even know what that means, Halen. <laughs> Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. But bosses already get such ridiculous hit points, right? And also, there's, um... What's really frustrating is when a boss heals. Like, when you heal, it's because you kind of need it. But, um... When a boss heals, it's almost like it's undoing effort that you've already earned. It's so frustrating when you encounter a boss that heals. But there are a couple of games and Final Fantasy 13 2 comes to mind. Um, there is a fight with the ultimate end boss, but it's not the actual end boss fight. But there's a point where, at least at least I think it's, it's that. It's been a while since I played that game. But he can heal. And there's a point where you can get stuck in, an, in, an, in, an, in a loop where he can't kill you, but you can't kill him. And I, I think I played that. I was in that boss fight for like 45 minutes. And I'm like, this fucker, I can't. I can't do enough damage to him to kill him before he heals again. And so, oh my God, oh, he was already hard enough even without the healing aspect, but because he could heal, that fight turned impossible. I hurt bosses that heal. It's so awful. <laughs> it's so right, awful. With it. What's your game? And of course, he's going to walk away from me. Game? What do you mean? <laughs> I usually size people up at a glance, but you, you're different. And it's bugging the heck out of True. me. True. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? Yeah, Shining Force is awesome. The Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have. 
to find my son. Well, as far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. Now, most of the time, yep, okay, good. It is Clara College Square. Sometimes he gives you a completely different location, but um, most of the time it's Clear Out College Square, which is a subway. No problem, dead fool. We'll see you in a bit. Uh, ah, yes, home with dinner. <laughs> Go. Enjoy, Nikki. So let's see what Halen gives us. Excuse me, Scribe Halen. Re still giving you the cold shoulder. Uh, all right. Finish walking. Why there we go. Why does he hate me? He doesn't <laughs> hate you. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. Is there something between the two of you? When I first joined up, Reese is the one who sponsored me. He took me under his wing, showed me the ropes. I thought there was a little more between us, so I asked him if he cared about me that way. He told me the Brotherhood of Steel was all that he cared about. And there was no room for anything else in his life. We never spoke about it again. Look, I... I need to get back to things. If you're worried about Reese, just keep doing what you're doing. He'll come around soon enough. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful. Molson the Tom. Okay, good. All right, so it's in the Commonwealth. Sometimes she'll give you uh a quest to go grab one of those and it's in a completely different map in a dlc area and it's like oh why do they do that <laughs> but yeah maxi can you imagine you're handing out healing potions and it turns out you gave the end boss all of those healing potions and then he or she uses them all oh my god at least then that actually i wouldn't mind because then at least then i'll be like you know what they only have a certain number of potions Right, that actually would be amazing. I would give them complete credit for that because it wouldn't feel cheap. It would be like, you know what? I, I only have myself to blame for this. <laughs> and they would only have as many potions as you gave them. So at least then it's like, all right, they could only do this so many times. There's a ghoul. There it begins. Not sure how I missed that one, but... There we are. Okay, let's take a look here. I don't see any more, but just because I don't see them doesn't mean they're not here. Just gotta make sure giving away potions is rewarding as well, right? Like if there's a karma system, you know, and you get that for that, or you're getting quest rewards or, you know, something, right? Yeah, you gotta, cause then that actually makes it much more interesting. Then it's like, well, do I still do it? Even though I know what I'm doing. I don't know how I saw that ghoul there. <laughs> Wait, did I just kill a raider? No, that raider must have been dead. Yeah, this is the ghoul I just shot. Okay. I know this. I know there's a ghoul around here somewhere. Okay, I wasn't talking about that one. But <laughs> we hear it running around. I don't see it here hear one up there and I think there's one up there all right so let's cruise over here nice and slow okay well we'll definitely scavenge those off that I don't see any mines so that's good save all the can chimes so that will definitely tip the ghouls off that we're here there's 
one. Another. Don't see anything up here. Good. More raiders. I still don't see it. I know it's here. There's one Fira Ghoul. Oh, there's a frag mine. Ah, it's up there. Swear I heard something. Yep, you're right, McCready. You did hear something. <laughs> At least now we know it's right up there. As soon as we, yep. <laughs> as soon as we crest to the top, we knew it was going to be there. All right, let's take a look here. What did we just get? More ammo, apps, glass. We need that. We'll take the TV tray. <laughs> Very well, Resplendent Bot. I've smashed the follow. I'm no longer followed. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> You know, I should really think about uh, modifying that. <laughs> Ooh, I hear footsteps. Oh, okay. This is what we just... Yeah, it's fine. Let's drop in. Burr, burr, burr. Okay, and that leads us up. We don't need that. Or fashion magazine. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. Good. Disabled hand chimes. Ow. Ow. That's an eyelash. Nothing more frustrating than a 15 life bar super boss getting half of them back because he stole your stuff. I'm make you nervous, but there was someone or something here recently. Yeah, the ghouls, McCready. The ghouls that we just killed. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I actually am glad they have that kind of dialogue. It makes the game feel more alive. Uh, oh, I thought I was over here. Mm, I don't think I can hit it from here. Ooh, I did though. <laughs> what just stirred? Oh boy. Yeah, I dropped all the way in there. Okay. Mission accomplished. Man, we may as well make some noise. Hey, stupid ghouls, come get me. No, you're not going to come get me? Fine. Look, assholes. We don't have all day. <laughs> we'll take the bobby pin. Let's see, is there anything in here before we start going messing around over there? All right, so now we'll go into the subway and we'll clear it off like, uh, like Reese wanted. Although, actually. Hey, go check that out. God damn it. No, I wanted to disarm that. Whatever. Well, I just told Dogmeat to go check something out. Surely that won't come back to bite me. I hear it. Probably upstairs. What is that? Oh, cool. We'll take more of that. Making a game feel alive is so important. One of my main issues with Sea of Thieves, to be honest, I really wish there were random NPC ships uh, sailing around. Yeah, uh, exactly, right? I mean, that's for for Fallout 4's flaws, right? And and it has them. But the best thing it ha does have going for it is the world really does feel alive. Uh, there are NPCs that wander around. Uh, there are things that happen even if you don't intervene. That's it. Well, there's nothing there. You teach me that sometime. Be nice if you liked it, McCready. We'd mix you out a lot sooner. Let's see. Yep, we'll take more chems. Who or what just left here. Ooh, this guy has a magnum auto loader. Except we already have one of those. Oh, what's here? I'm trying to make you nervous, but there was someone that. Ah, <laughs> yeah, already killed it. But it had a gold watch. That was nice. Boom! Oh, really, Vats? You missed? <laughs> Something something Assassin's Creed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Assassin's Creed is really, really good at that. Telling who or 
what just left here. So yeah, the Raiders had that toll schedule tells us um, that Raiders had set up and explains why the... Uh, oh, good grief. It's not bad that cool. Uh, with that toll schedule, it tells us that the Raiders had set up this little base here intending to uh, rip off pretty much a bunch of merchants. Ooh, four fusion cores. All right, do we have anybody else? Everything else is clear now? Cool. Okay. Now we can clear this place out for Reese. And we'll get this whole thing started. College Station Square. Here we go. And then once we do this one, we'll start heading east to take care of that. Wow. Man, this, this looks awesome. <laughs> so we got dead ghouls. Now would be good. <laughs> you know, I can't even blame McCready for that sentiment, right? It's like if I looked around at this, I'd be like, yeah, we need to get the fuck out of this place. Sure, we'll take that. Dead Raider. Now, did the Raider die because of whatever trap was here? Or is the Raider just dead? Who knows? Yeah, this place is pretty creepy as fuck. care of that ghoul. I love going through here all stealthily, like, rather than just kind of running through, uh, like, brick from, nice. uh, Borderlands. Oop, that's a light bulb. Sweet. Oop, tap stash. Nice. And so part of what I'm also trying to do is get McCready's affinity up as well. I thought I killed this guy. Wow. Hey, like you all right there, dog meat? Good boy. Okay, we'll take that. We will take that. We'll take three more money. Nasty. What the hell is it? And then we'll take a, we'll pick up that level we just got. Pack of cigarettes. We like that for asbestos. Fine, I'll stand. Come here. Ooh, duct tape. Duct tape is awesome. Rad X. Take three more money. Good, 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 good. Uh, nope, we don't need that. Here's over here. And because I'm not sneaking around that stupid uh, monkey, toy monkey triggered. <laughs> That's always super creepy. I'll take three more money. We like three more money. We'll get a key eventually for this door, but we may as well pick it and get the XP for it. My cat is now snoring over on the other side. <laughs> uh, all right, what magazine do we get? Live and love. Companions permanently inflict plus 5% damage. That's pretty nice. Take that. Yep, we'll take that. Subway tokens. Yes, we will take that. Subway purified water. Subway tokens. Okay. It's time to dog meat. Get out of the... No, get out of the way. Guys, <laughs> what are you doing to me? Okay, let's level up. Let's level up. So our main objectives for sneak, lock picking, that's already taken care of. Gunslinger, we can't up that for another couple of levels. Okay. For reasons which make will make sense at the end of Automatron, what we want is to be able to hack master terminals. So I'm actually gonna take hacker here. We're going to need the max level of hacker for that. Wow. Can't believe I missed that mount. Mm. Nice shot. Oh, shit. I got caught in a reef. Luckily, it couldn't get a beat on me after. Jesus. Hey, let's not do that again, Seraph. Nice job. <laughs> if I only had a brain. <laughs> All right. So we've got a couple of things going on here. We need to be very, very careful about that room. Actually, let's go this way. Let's go approach that room from a different direction. 
locked, but should be able to pick it. Yep, that's much better. This room is much easier to go from this direction and take care of than the other direction. Yes. And that's why. <laughs> so if we'd come across this way, and just like that, we've cleared out the whole place. Uh, if we miss and hit this, we blow ourselves up. Not speaking from experience or anything. <laughs> the number of times I've done that, I cannot tell you. <laughs> I have done that so many times. All right, alarm clocks are awesome because they've got nuclear material. All right, so now we get the hell out of here. Let's just keep going. So somebody had shacked up here. Some nice materials. Take the buff out. Beer bottles, sure. Take the journal scrap. They're definitely taking that bottle cap mine. Hell yeah. Yes, they did. I don't think there's anything here. Ooh, we can unlock the suitcase. Booyah! I smell XP. <laughs> Got it. And there's nothing useful in there. We don't really need a, lo da a laundered denim dress. Hey. Dog meat keeps walking right in the way. I know I just said I was going to sneak around and not just run around guns blazing. But I think at this point we've got this covered. Okay, so now we're on this side. We should be able to. So we came down over that side, worked our way through, and now we're kind of coming up on the other side. That's time. That guy's running like a... Boom! Wow, 47% chance we still got a headshot. Nice when Bats plays nice. It does not always. This door, see what's in here. Well, that was nice. convenient. Just two stim packs. We'll take it. McCready, get out of the way. There we go. Perfect. And just like that, we've gone full circle. All right, so now we can get the hell out of here. And we, uh, that one key that was down there would have unlocked the door we picked, but we picked it already. We're good to go. We've cleared this place. Oh, let's uh, get that makeshift bomb. So I had disabled the trap, but didn't actually take apart the bomb that blows up. So obviously the bomb is not what killed that raider. Otherwise, the makeshift bomb wouldn't have been there. Dumb raider ended up getting killed by a ghoul of some sort. But yeah, we're going to fire up into Automatron pretty shortly here. Actually, kind of made quicker work of all that than I thought. The only thing we'll want to do is stop by... A settlement and drop off all the salvage we just picked up. Probably Grey Garden. That would make the most amount of sense because it's close by. Even though it's not connected to the overall supply chain. But that is one thing I will want to do as we get kind of started and fired up here. We're just going to go east. That's where the police station is. The police station should be down this way. Yep, it is. Perfect. We'll cash in this quest really fast. Uh, we had taken radiation damage, that's why. So every time you level up, you will get all of your health back. But if you have radiation damage, you'll only level up to that point. The radiation damage still sticks around. Lame. Might actually think about upgrading... You better have some good news. You're such a prick. Affirmative. Looks like I got my <laughs> surprise for the day. Yeah. Now report to Paladin Dance. He said he had a mission for you. When you're ready for another op, you know where to find me. Yeah, huh. you know what? We'll do that. We'll pick up this other one. Welcome back. I've got another mission for you, if you're ready. Ready. Outstanding. Over the years, the Brotherhood has sent several recon teams to the Commonwealth. The last squad went in three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing. 
presumed dead. They knew the risks. They did. We all do. <laughs> but the Brotherhood honors those who give their lives in the line of duty. We have a responsibility to find out what happened to them, if we can. All right. I'll see to it. Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area and establish a search pattern. Monitor your radio for distress signals. All recon teams are issued distress pulses that put out a short-range homing beacon. If you can acquire a signal, you should be able to trace it to its source. So mind you, the Commonwealth is a pretty big place. Uh, actually, I might take that pulse grenade just in case we run into something. Oh, you know, also take that frag mine. Marvelous. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And that location for Halen. If we're ever in that area, we'll have to go in there. Essentially, what you do is you go into the area for that. So Reese sends you to a location, and it's pretty simple. Just kill everything that moves in that location, and he's happy. For Halen, it's about recovering... Uh, lost technology and so what you end up doing is going to a location finding the actual item and you just have to recover it you don't even necessarily need to kill anybody to get it you just have to recover that item and come back so you theoretically could do it all stealthy like but usually that's that's not particularly feasible let's see uh talk to preston right we don't need to do that right now we have stopped the rating at some point we'll talk to preston it's not going to be now uh so wilson automatoys corporate hq okay so that uh, we'll just show it on the map. It's over here. Um, and so the next time we're in this general area, we're going to go in there and, and recover that. But one thing I do want to go... I'm not explaining the why yet, because I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But we'll want to go to the slog first and talk to a ghoul there, because we'll have multiple things to do that one location, and we'll just all... We'll, we'll, we'll get it all done and all kind of all at the same time. All right, so the sun's rising. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's actually head back to Grey Garden. We'll drop off all of this salvage we just picked up. I don't think I've given everything to anything to dog me. But since we're heading off to get that stress beacon, now is a good time for that. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, fine. I'll take the eight ball. Boom. And Grey Garden's not far. Grey Garden's literally just up here. Actually, we could take care of the salvage area while we're there. It's quick. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. We'll drop off the shit at Grey Garden. We'll go clear that location real quick. We'll grab any salvage that's there, bring it back, because we're going to be building robots here. Once the Automatron DLC really starts, one of the first things it gives us is the robot workbench. And we're definitely going to need materials for all of that. So here's our settlement run by robots. Uh, okay, we can't grab those. I don't think there's anything for us. Nope. But yeah, these Mr. Handies are awesome. <laughs> and they farm a lot of mute fruit here. It's super cool. Okay, so let's put all this corn here. Mute fruit. That works for me. Uh, yeah, let's put the Nuka-Cola Quantum in there. We've got rum. Yeah, okay. We do have rum. Okay, we could put the whiskey in there. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to eventually have a liquor collection. We don't need to worry about any of these things yet. Okay. That takes care of that. Yeah, just real quick. Talk to me. Hey. hey. What do you have? You don't have anything useful. No. You don't. And I don't think I've given anything to McCready. But let's check Thank anyway. You. What do you want? Nope. Perfect. Okay. Let's go check out this location. It's right here. It's not far. Come on. There we go. Get up there, Violet. <laughs> quick salvage run. Man, loving Corvega, the silhouette of Corvega in the distance. At some point, we'll want to go to Corvega and properly clear that out. Pop over here. All right, where are the fucking mole rats? No, they're not going to show up. Bastards. I knew they'd be here. There's dog meat. Almost shot him. Hey, we could have just walked through here. Good to know. 
Hey, look at all the cars. <laughs> no. <sighs> nice headshot there. All right. Plus 100%. Oh, but double AP cost. Eh, that kind of sucks. That's a shite. That's another shite legendary. I mean, it's nice that they're giving us legendaries, but the legendary prefixes we're actually getting really suck. But still, we'll take whatever ammo's in here. We've got 308. 308's going to be nice once we actually do the conversion for the Overseer's Guardian. Yeah, yeah. Let's pick the floor safe. Uh, yep, I knew I was going to break that bobby pin, but at least now we know where roughly it's going to be. Oh, there we go. That's it. Yeah, we're really not getting a whole lot here, are we? Right. I thought there'd be more salvage, to be honest. Just a bunch of nothing. A bunch of mole rats. Yeah, we picked up some hems, but... Wow. Hot plate. That's... This was so worth it. Yeah, whatever. At least for... At least for leveling up McCready, that ended up being somewhat worth it. Right? We cleared it. Yep. Okay. Because every time you clear a location, it essentially means your, um, your companion liked it. And so it helps build up affinity that way. I think I've said that before, but it warrants repeating. Just because it explains kind of like why I'm going through this. Yeah, yeah. Shit, man. All right, well, we'll take all that mole rat meat. Grief. Uh, really? Okay. Well, I guess that'll that'll do. Okay, so now let's go inspect that. Uh, all right, and the distress call was around here. So at this point, yeah, we're just going to head east. We might check out some things on the way, but for the most part, we're now on a rescue operation. Let's also I'll do some rat away. Let's move. Squirrel on a stick. There we go. We're now back up to full health. Perfect. Most excellent. Let's see. Go through Cambridge or Lexington. And we'll deal with we'll deal with going through Lexington a little later cuz Lexington is a total shithole. Let's just kind of skirt Cambridge here. We'll explore this a little bit. What's in there? Nothing. Mentats, that's too heavy. Not worth it. Right. That looks valuable there. Okay. Duct tape, yes. Silver, holy shit. Yeah, this was, I guess it was too dark to see some of that earlier. Well, that was an explosion. I wonder what the hell blew up. Probably have more ghouls. Sure. Take those. It is interesting to explore a little bit the... Oh, shit. No, we'll definitely take noodle cups. That's fucking awesome. You know, I don't know if I've ever walked into this area. To be honest. Fuck. That's a... <laughs> what the fuck? And meanwhile, this dude's just sitting here. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey there. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. 
<laughs> that was very different. Just three super mutants crowded around McCready, just completely decimating him and completely ignoring the settler. Whatever. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's, since this building's right here, let's get close enough to the building to detect it, get the XP for that. Perfect. Ooh, and there's a red rocket to explore. Let's go salvage that. Okay, that looks like a damaged reactor. We should stay the hell away from that. That's going to be fucking radioactive. I see a weapons workbench, though. That's useful. Good, assuming... All right. Yeah, let's just break that down. Okay, these will keep. All right, that was worth our time. Is there anything else worth salvaging in here? Ooh, there's an armor workbench. Leather right leg. Yep, let's do that. Break that down. Raider left leg, we'll break that down. Okay. Everything else is equipped. We definitely want to keep the grognak costume. Good deal. Okay, these, oh we got a flip lighter is awesome. Flip lighters have springs and they're light. And they've got oil. The oil is the most important component of all that. Good here. Alright. That was worth doing. Okay. Let's see what's going on up here. Here a fight, so we may as well go investigate it. Hopefully, whoever it is, is weakening themselves. Go, huh? Fucking super mutants. God, kill you. Shh. Oh, there we go. Like a boss. <laughs> ah, super mutants and ghouls fighting each other. There we go. <laughs> that was beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Ooh, we'll take the rad scorpion meat. Boom. I love it when it. Oops. Something else here. Oh. Good job, McCready. Didn't even get upstairs. Let's see. We'll take the medics, a cigarette. Boom. Okay. Switch back to my trusty 10 millimeter sidearm. Because we only have so much 44 ammo. But for the freaking super mutants, yeah, it was definitely worth it to switch briefly to the 44. So fucking super mutants, man. They hit like a truck. And they've got crazy HP. Ugh. Fucking rad stag. Actually, you know what? We'll get next time I see a cook um, a cooking stove, we'll cook some of that rad stag meat. All right, mass gravel and sand. There's a bag up there. We may as well go get that. Raider. Headshot. <laughs> I don't know if there are any other raiders, but we took out that one. Actually, I think that's it. Cool. All right, well, let's see what was in here. Take rat poison. Anything else? Bloat fly, rat, bloat flies. Yeah, just bloat flies. All right, fuck them. Cool. Let's go check. Whoop. Something's. Yeah, I missed the mole rat. Although dog meat didn't. <laughs> Tunneling little bastard. <laughs> uh, never gets old.
making short work of these mole rats. Just one more. As it's chasing McCready. <laughs> got plenty of that we don't need any more roll mat mole rat meat let's go in here uh yeah we don't really although you know what let's just grab these because we'll what we'll do oh it's a weapons workbench fuck i thought it was an armor workbench never mind never mind a good ow ow position uh, there's no way he could have held us off the creed is right the guy did have a good position okay that's lexington um let's head back south real quick get these other locations oh my goodness that eyelash is driving me crazy So we could just, you know, we'll come back for, we already got to the road. Let's just come back for Cambridge. Let's stay on, let's stay on target here. Let's go this way. I think that's Watts Consumer Electronics. And considering we heard about, uh, that they were close by there, it makes sense to make a run for Watts Consumer Electronics, get there, and then we'll investigate the, uh, oh, actually we hear it. Yep. There it is. Holy shit. <laughs> that was one hell of an explosion. Okay, let's, uh, come on, run. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I just said stim pack. Ow. <sighs> New cup, yes. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. I think these guys are a little more vulnerable to lasers. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, it's like, come on, man. That thing's gotta go down, right? <laughs> Alright, what else is gonna explode? Nothing, I'm gonna Stim pack dog meat. Did McCready seriously not like me stimpacking dog meat? What a dick that guy is. Our friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. <laughs> but I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again... I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Oh, there we go. Why, thank you, Deep Fry. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. I appreciate the subscribe, Deep Fry. Always, always appreciated. How are you, my friend? How's your week treating you? You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, 
I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So you arrive at a good time, Deep Fry. We just started Automatron. We lit like, that whole f gigantic firefight. We just uh, answered a distress call, but the only survivor was this robot, Ada. Good, ready for some fallout, bloody kills. Yeah, oh, we're gonna have a bunch of that. <laughs> so why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. <laughs> the Mechanist? Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> You'll need help if you want to succeed. I'm aware of this. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. <laughs> you want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the mechanist both protects the Commonwealth kitty, kitty. and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Yeah. Let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Alright, so yeah, we'll send McCready to Sanctuary for right now. That takes care of him. And now we've got the robot workbench, so we could do that. Now let's. Okay, so we got a legendary. So unlike the rest of your fucking companions, Ada actually encourages you to pick up shit instead of your other companions that just kind of complain about it. All right, so here's Jackson's hollow tape. Poor bastard. Let's see. Yeah, we'll pick up the dirty water. We could do something with that. It's always diary. Uh, nah, we don't need any of that. We will take the rat away. Let's see, let's take Wonder Glue. We just missed, if we were just here a little earlier. <laughs> but of course, that's a little bit of a, of a misnomer. Uh, no matter when you get here, that, that outcome is the same each time. Yeah, we'll take the bird. Okay, I think that's everything valuable here. I don't think there's anything else of use here. Let's see. Oh, Liza. All right. Take circuit boards. Ah, this fucker. <laughs> Desk fan, cans. Holy shit. Ah, that was what caused such a huge explosion. So this must have been combustible. That exploded. Oh, and then it blew this up. So we had like a chain reaction of explosions. That's why it was such a huge explosion. And we saw it from so far away. Yeah, normally you don't see it that far away. So let's take a look at some of these uh, hollow tapes here. Try and get a better idea here of what's going on. <clears throat> if you're not Zoe and you're reading this, you are dead, ramblings. So decided to start keeping a diary. Uh, stop by a decent looking salvage yard. <laughs> All right. Uh, basically talking about Ada. Let's see. Text the Protectron. Uh, set up usual defenses. Anything interesting? Shopping spree? You're not going to believe it. We stopped in a department store. So they're just talking about all this shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll play the one hollow tape for the mechanist, but we'll continue going east. Attention, people of the Commonwealth. I, the mechanist, have come to bring about an age of peace. <laughs> Until the Commonwealth is 
is all that let's go check this out this looks interesting this looks like xp plus we need to get we need to cross this river anyway so ultimately where we need to go is here general atomics so we've got to cross two river oh actually we don't want to go yeah actually we don't want to cross that road but you know what let's settle a dispute if we can we can't afford that what? Run for it. Oh fuck. Shit, did they get killed? Nope. Okay. They're okay. They're okay. <laughs> I didn't expect the raiders to just start shooting. I wanted to talk and like, you know, mediate a dispute. <laughs> well, so much for that. Well, we got some XP. Excuse me. You saved our lives. Yeah, okay, you're fucking welcome. <laughs> oh, yep, laundry. Yeah, this is an unmarked location, but there's some awesome shit in here. We'll take the free war money, but we'll also check out these. There's always... Wow, am I going to jinx it? There's usually so much amazing shit in those dryers. And I picked up a few bobby pins and... Wow, that was shite. That was total shite! Ah, well, whatever. All right, so we need to go down this way. Now, this area, we need to be a little careful. Nothing here. Good. Okay. A lot of times, <laughs> there's a fucking death claw here. Oh, food paste, huh? Nothing else here? Oh, shit. Bastard. They spotted Ada. <laughs> Take care of that bastard. Okay, so we picked up an intervention note. Let's go raid this body. Come on. It's loading a cell. I got... I caught it while it was loading a cell there. Hence this brief hiccup. Yeah, let's deal with this. Oh, fuck's sakes. Careful, I don't think we're alive. What down. gave you that clue, Ada? Was it the raiders shooting at us? <laughs> That's all right. We'll discover this. <laughs> I can already tell the Monty Python sound effect is going to be the most common one. <laughs> that is fucking great. Hey, cat. Oh, sorry. Okay, good. Nobody else there. Her feet are right by my feet, so I can't. I can't really move my feet any. I'm just kind of stuck in position. So Cleopatra is nice and comfy right below me. All right, so now we've reached Bunker Hill again. Okay. Thankfully, we've already been here. So now we can just head south. Pretty much the same route we went before. Although this time we may as well go a slightly different route. Let's just see what uh, kind of trouble we can get into. Although we really should try to Avoid as much fighting as we can. Wow, we got kind of fucked up there. Let's, uh... Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was another location that I hadn't been into. Oh, Jesus Christ. What kind of fire... What kind of fight is going on now? Purified water. Let's take a nice drink. It's enough of that, Super Mutant. Question is, what was it fighting? Was it fighting something else hostile? That's a Minuteman flag. That is new. That is very new. That must be part of that um, you and what army mod. Question is, oh, this is awesome. There's a, oh, those fuckers. They took out a Minuteman. Oh, that's super lame. Although I could pick up that padded blue jacket, but I don't need a padded blue back jacket. Oh. Just got a message. Finch Farm is asking for help. 
Oop. Also, we'll get that. Wait, that didn't trigger a quest with me? Maybe it didn't register that I was uh, actually hearing it. But Finch Farm wants some help, so we'll have to go to Finch Farm at some point. What I'll do is I'll switch to Radio Freedom. Uh, and then we'll we'll get that quest again, since it didn't trigger. Yeah, cool. Minutemen patrols. Nice. Withered Fural Ghoul. All right, this is pretty badass. Gotta say. Of that ghoul. Question is, what the hell hurt it? <laughs> there we go. Nice little headshot action. Oh, wait, there are more. Where's the next one? Where is that turret? I could hear it. Fuck. Right there. Shit. You bastard. Ow. <laughs> it's one way to deal with a fucking raider. Get my frag grenade back. Man, we kicked these guys. We kicked their asses. I mean, it was a little dicey for a second. Oh, we got another. Where is it? Oh, they're hiding right behind there. All right, Ada, while you shoot that. Pincer them. Wait, where did that guy go? They didn't kill it? Oh. He retreated. That was entirely too stupid. That was sloppy. Run up like an idiot. He had already backed off. Man, I'm lucky that that's the only damage I took. So yeah, if I shot this, holy shit does this fucking, this whole thing explodes so violently. Crazy violently. Alright. Is that it for all of that shit? I think so. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's deal with the gunners that are over here. And we'll discover that other location. But in the meantime, food. Uh, crispy squirrel bits. That's not enough. We'll do one more. Here, let the rain cover our approach. Hi, cat. I love you too, cat. We'll take, we will definitely take that. We're not going up in the Boston Bugle building. Nice and slow, nice and careful. Damn. Took a couple of tries. Not helpful when I miss my shots. But not a big deal. What the hell is over here? Adrian's invitation, huh? Well, we'll have to check that out. Just ghouls. Although we'll take the irradiated blood. We'll definitely take the nuclear material. Telephone. Sweet. Yep. If you take... find any spare parts, you be sure to let me know. I will certainly do that, Ada. <laughs> okay. So we don't need to go to Good Neighbor. We're going to head down this way now. At least I don't think there's any reason for us to go to Good Neighbor. 
slowly but surely wake our way through the ruins as we make our way down. Oh, bye, cat. I love you, cat. Mm. Yeah, let's not go down that way. Let's just head down this way. Yeah, you know what? Let's go down this way. Parking garage. <laughs> that was interesting. A little bit of an artifact there. See some super mutants up there, but it's an unmarked location. Yeah, it's all right, Ada. Up 360. You can't <laughs> it was going to run. There was no escaping that. Someone there. Where is it? Oh, right up there. Shit. Fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nope, you're not running away. You tried though. <laughs> uh, no good power armor yet. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We got enough uh, fusion cores where we could actually probably have a good set of... Once we get some uh, a decent enough set, we could make use of it. Ada. Okay, you got it. Let's get the hell out of here. That's fine. Let's keep coming this way. Actually, let's go around this way. Let's go around this way. Probably over there. We're not even going to go closer because that might attract undue attention. We're just going to keep going this way. Knock it. Stuck in there. <laughs> sure, we'll take the empty milk bottles. Um, but yeah, once we get a good set of T60, I think that'll be fun. Oh, we uh, I forgot. We leveled up. Let's deal with that level up. Let's take the other hacker here. And once we finish off Master, then we can start taking other, um, other perks. But there's a very specific reason for Automatron that I want to have the master level perks for that. Protect and serve. <laughs> yeah, Protectron's cool. I try to keep this guy alive if I can. Unfortunately, there are fights that that Protectron can get into, and then it's just game over for the Protectron. All right, so there's General Atomics over there. So we just need to cruise over here. Go around this way. At this point, we've been over here. Granted, we went in a different direction last time. Oh, and we hear some firing. So we know we're going to have some action as we get over here. And the good news is we're going to be really close to our castle. So we can go over to the castle and actually check it out. Oh, we got the Protectron. What is that Protectron fighting? Okay, that. Good. That raider is staying there. Good. Okay, good, 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 good. <sighs> I was worried that raider was going to join the fight and possibly draw in all the uh, fuckers from... Okay, we got scavenger. Not sure what that is. Probably more scavengers. Yeah, we'll take that. Sure, we'll take the razor grain. Yeah, give me the potatoes. Sweet. <sighs> Gotta love all the firing. Okay, so I hear it. <laughs> uh, it's a fucking Mr. Gutsy. Oh, shit. Shit. 
shot the fucking scavenger right in the ass. <laughs> Question is, is that Mr. Gutsy going to be hostile to us or not? Not fucking around with the Mr. Gutsy. Those things can totally sure waste us. All right. Let's proceed. Okay. So now we're in East Boston, where Fort Independence is. So if this looks familiar, it's because we just came through here. So at least uh, we shouldn't have to worry about super mutants in that building anymore. Of course, we still have to worry about the four-leaf fish packing plant and the ghouls that might come after us. God damn it! More super mutants? Fuck! Oh, shit! <sighs> shit. Damn it! It suicided, uh... Dog meat and Ada. <laughs> uh, but it didn't kill me. Oh, that car is going to explode. Okay, this time I did not let myself get killed by the exploding car. Sure, we'll take the mutant hound meat. Yeah, of course it woke up all the fucking ghouls. Let's charge up my crit meter. Jesus, dog meat. All right. Of course, we're getting irradiated from the car. Oh, carrying too much, I can't run. So food. Real drag stag, hell yeah. Shit. All right, you deal with the ghouls. I'll deal with the fucking super mutant. Thankfully, Ada was making so much noise, the super mutant didn't even see me. <laughs> All right, good plan, Ada. Good plan, good plan. All right, we survived that. I don't know how we survived it, but we survived it. <sighs> well, since we have to... All right, since we got that close anyway, we may as well get the 53 XP for it. Whew! Yeah, as soon as I heard... Deet, 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 it went, oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, all right, so we could go to Fort Independence now, but let's go to Ada and let's drop off all this Heads shit. Up. Now, normally I wouldn't waste the Grilled Rad. So what the Grilled Rad stag does is it increases your carry weight. And I did that because we were in the middle of the fight. I didn't want to be managing inventory. I just ate the Grilled Rad stag and got back to moving quickly. That was kind of a split second decision. Usually I only do that when I'm so encumbered and I've got nothing else going on. Uh, or no other real options like we just did there with offloading it to uh, Ada here. Okay, just, uh, nothing in here to grab? Okay, yeah. No. All right, so now we're going to go into General Atomics factory. Whew. We're going to investigate this and see what we can what we can hand what we can uh, learn about the mechanist. Oh boy. And Cleo has gotten off my foot. So now theoretically I can actually move around. <laughs> Good old Cleo. Oh boy. Well, this can get interesting. Switch to Righteous Authority. There we go. Take care of the swarm bot. Oh, we got a robot coming down. Come deal with it. We'll take some cover. 
Gonna come down the stairs in just a second. Yeah, let's not mess around. <laughs> there we go. Ah, it managed to hit me once. Boo. Must have been just a glancing blow. Thankfully. Okay, so at this point, we're not going to pick up the mods. They weigh a lot. I love how much shit the mechanist talks to. So I don't know where the mechanist actually shows up for the first time. But I think it's, uh, I think it's New Vegas. Where technically the, uh, mechanist makes their first appearance. Hmm. Okay, I don't see anything over there. Tool case. Battered terminal. We did pick up an ID card there. Cade's terminal. Can I actually use this? Okay. Personal logs. Job assignment. Da -da 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 -da. Basically, yep. Doesn't like his job. Thanks for nothing. Ridiculous. Blah, blah, blah. I hate my job. This job will kill me. I'm literally going to be bored to death. And I'll be there full. <laughs> that is a good TLDR for that. Okay, I don't see anything over there. <sighs> Take that. Clipboard. Salvage. I don't think there's anything else of real value over there. Ooh, telephones are always good. Maybe we'll take that. Definitely load up on some ceramic. We'll definitely take the free war money. And there we go. Tesla magazine. Energy weapons now do permanent damage boost. Take the soap. Take Reminds take you of brighter days, man. It does. It's also going to be useful when we break it down for the circuitry. Sure, we'll take the ceramic. Ceramic is useful in electronics. So one of the problem, uh, one thing we are going to do is do a, um, a little side quest in here. Because if we don't do it now, the game tends to bug out. So we have to do it in the location while we're here. That's unfortunate. Uh, military grade circuit board. We'll take the steel. Can't pop. Yeah. I mean, it is a robot factory. Uh, I think there's a terminal that opens this somewhere. What's in there? Looks like right away. So it's probably not all that important. Yep, Fallout 3. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, it was Fallout 3 that the mechanist does the makes the first appearance. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember specifically what game. <laughs> okay, Trey. Uh, yeah, could be that one. Nope. Crap. Damn. Mm. Come on. Let's just brute force it. We'll eventually get this fucking thing open. Damn, really? This is brutal. Sweet. There we go. Jeez, man. Ironically enough, the tougher terminals are actually easier. Because then you can actually get more, uh, never, oh, had to look it up. Wow, you never played three? Um, three is okay. Now we'll take the blowtorch. I personally liked three. Aluminum canister? Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to grab the aluminum canister. <laughs> no, we don't need to grab the aluminum canister. That uh, Swarm Bob is going to see her in a second. Run up here, deal with a swarm bot. Never mind, they charged me. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Freakbot. You, uh, kind of come at an interesting time. Damn, I can't hit that robo brain through that door. So we're sort of uh sort of in the middle of a fight here. And that robo brain can uh really fuck us up. Alright. Okay. Open the doors. Fucking thing. Okay, greetings. <laughs> I'll be able to say hi in a second. Run, run, run. Get my AP back up. Yeah, Vats is critical for this particular battle. Oh my goodness, why is my AP meter not going up higher higher? Okay, we got it. I think we got it. Okay, we got one more. One more little bastard. Yeah, these robots are a little weaker to lasers. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't... I don't use them often. I never said I never use them. <laughs> um, or if I did, I meant, you know, uh, with hyperbole there, but I, I do rarely, I do use them occasionally and situationally. Um, but yeah, it's not very, it is not very often that I will, that I will use a, um, a laser pistol. But this is one of the, one of the areas where I will in fact do that. Okay, greetings Raiders. <laughs> how is the, uh, how is the OP um, seed for, uh, for the randomizer going, uh, I do I do absolutely prefer ballistic weapons. Uh, ro these robots in particular, they're more vulnerable to lasers. So uh, this is one of the few times I will actually switch to it situationally. Uh, but I also wanted to stay in VATS and Righteous Authority stacks VATS a lot faster and uh, stacks the critical meter a lot faster. So I tend to use uh, I will tend to switch to Righteous Authority when I'm trying to build my critical meter back up in a tough firefight really, really fast. I will I will do that. Um, so yes, greetings. Actually, I think somebody may have already uh, done the shout out. Ghosty already took care of it. Why, thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate it. <laughs> righteous is a very good early game, but it is. Righteous Authority, righteous authority is absolutely a fantastic weapon. So we got the mechanist device. Uh, so yes. Uh, TLDR for what's going on here. We, uh, we came to the aid of, um, a group of, uh, oh, uh, that's pretty, pretty radioactive. I should stay here a very short period of time. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm going to talk to Ada in a second. We'll grab these. Uh, and so, yes, what, uh, what we ended up doing was, um, good grief, uh, Seraph, what the hell, uh, the words okay uh so anyway we came to the rescue of a bunch of caravans uh to a caravan they were under attack by hostile robots we find out these robots were are operating in the orders of somebody called the mechanist who uh we were just talking about that uh this is not the first game that the mechanist has appeared in but uh this is obviously something that's very new to our character so violet finds out about this mechanist she agrees to help ada uh, avenge her friends and also put a stop to the mechanist and that's kind of where we're at and so we followed up a lead that led us to the general atomics factory we found a robo brain uh and we found some sort of mechanist device in it we literally just pulled that off so now we're going to talk to ada and see what the fuck is going on here Look alive. so greetings everybody yes, <laughs> ada, did you retrieve something from that robot it had this strange device on it let's have a look impressive technology Ooh. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Are you sure? While there's only a 78.3% <laughs> chance that I'm correct, I'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have. I mean... Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Okay, fair enough. So we're going to need to build a robot workbench somewhere. So, uh, now the only... <laughs> so unfortunately, we do have to do a very brief... Um, whoops, yep, don't want to be anywhere near that. 
Uh, we do have to do a very brief side quest because if we don't do it now, it's bugged. So if we come back, we will never be able to do this uh, side quest and it's an unmarked side quest. Uh, I suspect a lot of people miss this, but in the interest of doing a complete playthrough, we're going to do it and we kind of have to do it now. So away we go. This is not going to take us long, though. Test area. Greetings, Unit 761. Welcome to the General Atomics Quality Assurance Department. <laughs> we assure your functionality is up to our high standards. We must run a few tests before returning you to your caregiving duties. Now, please, proceed into the first test chamber. First, we must test your disciplinary and behavioral management skills. A quality assurance associate will be playing the role of your hypothetical charge. Little Timmy. <laughs> Timmy has broken a valuable vase while playing catch in the house. The vase was a family heirloom, and it is quite irreplaceable. Please, punish the child accordingly. Run it fantastic. The appropriate punishment was separation of the child from any potential source of entertainment. And please remember, corporal punishment is strictly forbidden unless the user enables it in your configuration mode. Please proceed into the second test chamber. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we'll grab these. A proper reasoning unit must be able to identify the needs of our charges. Please assess the state of the crying child and fulfill its needs. <laughs> and is satisfied by a uh, by a teddy bear here. So we're just gonna grab this and drop it in. Correct. The child was hungry. Your vocal tonality analysis programming seems to be in working order. Please take this opportunity to reconfirm that any deprecated muffling procedures are not left in your programming. Now please proceed into the third testing chamber. And of course this safe you can't open. It requires a terminal. We will now test your hazard detection matrices. Please child-proof this environment by moving any hazardous object to where little ants cannot reach. Please remove any hazardous objects. All right, so we are... And there are a couple of hazardous objects in here. Um, I'm trying to remember which one. Oh, yeah, the fucking machete. <laughs> uh, where's the... Wait, where is the trash? Where is the trash? Ah, here it is. Okay, so there's one. Let's see. What's the next one? This one gets a little tricky. Lamp, coffee cup. Is there a Braxo cleaner or something around here? Not the cheese. Gumdrops. What am I missing? We got rid of the machete. am I looking at? Ah, there it is. Splendidly done. All potentially fatal objects have been put out of the child's reach. Please remember, children have a penchant for finding ways to arm themselves. They never are truly safe. Absolute diligence is required. Congratulations. It appears you are fully functional and ready to return to service. Please take a replacement fusion core from the safe in the hallway on your way out. All right. Took a while to get that, huh? The magic mirror. Yeah, I mean th that'll that'll totally hose the run if you don't get the magic mirror in time. And we'll take the jet. We'll leave the machete. We don't need that. Okay. So now we can get the hell out of here. 
but if we come back it won't it won't trigger and we can't get that uh, safe open and we can't get the fusion cores managed to kill blind and Mathula. nice I, I i am not a fan of Mathula. <laughs> i mean it's not hard per se but that is an annoying boss and of course, blind can be hard if you totally do it wrong. Not that I totally did that wrong my first try. <laughs> that must have been so funny. You're lo just like looking at it like, no, you can you can hit it. You can hit it, Seraph. <laughs> All right. So now we are done here at the General Atomics factory. I suggest we take as much as we can carry. Yep, we shall. OK, so now the only question is, do I go to the castle to build robots or uh, yep, nine hits? And he's done even with the level one sword. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not even it's really not all that hard unless uh you're like me and you make it hard. <laughs> That's all right, it was fun anyway. So whatever. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that's the question. Do I go to the castle and build a robot workbench there? Or do I go to Oberlin? Do I just go to um Grey Garden and build the robot workbench there where we already have robots. Uh, I'm kind of inclined to do that, actually. So why don't we do that? And for the sake of it, let's just fast travel. I usually try not to do an abundance of fast traveling, but actually, you know what? No, let's cancel. If we're going to if we're going to fast travel and build shit anyway let's go to sanctuary we'll go to sanctuary we'll build the robot workbench there and we will try to i'm the opposite i fast travel like a motherfucker <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i really i really try not to do a lot of fast traveling um i try i try not to but um i think it's one of the reasons why i do know the map so well is i'm so used to running around um and getting into every little nook and cranny uh, but just for the sake of brevity, uh, I think that made sense. We're just going to do the fast travel really fast. Hey, Ada. Look alive. Give me, give me everything you've got. Uh, I think, yep, we're going to take all. Perfect. Most of the time we can't do that because if you take all, it will grab the, um, it'll grab what the, co uh, what the companion is wearing. But Ada's a robot. So, hey, Phoenix Nade, how are you doing, buddy? Show me what you've got. <laughs> Uh, so yes, let's take a look at the weapons. Uh, let's liquidate that. That is perfect. Okay. Righteous authority. I don't think we can do anything else with this, really. Comfort grip. Yeah, we can't really do anything else with that. I don't think we can do anything else that requires science. Nope. So we're good here. All right. Yeah, we're, we're all good with that. Let's, um, I don't think we have anything here that we want to break down. Um think so anyway yeah no we're good okay so let's go into our house our pre-war house hello piper made it another day in the commonwealth lucky us <laughs> yep please just I, I need to be alone right now well then june don't be in my house <laughs> uh there's a solution for that june get the hell out oh do i not have any other weapons that i picked up cool you know what? That works for me. Let's cruise in here and drop off. Oh, uh, actually, those are armor pieces, probably. Let's cruise in here. Yep, we'll get rid of the Grognak costume. Unfortunately, we cannot drop off the Silver Shroud costume. We're stuck with that. I think we'll drop off the Super Mutant wrists. We can come back for that later. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's... Uh... Yeah, all right. Bourbon, poison wine, rum, vodka, whiskey, wine. Okay, perfect. That will do. Let's load all this stuff in there. <laughs> I want a mod where every companion joins you. A freaking army of them. Uh, there is a mod for that uh, where you can have a bunch of uh, companions. Uh, some people play with it. It tends to get um, very, very busy. <laughs> uh, so I didn't want to go that crazy. I just did the one where um, I can have dog meat with me and a companion at the same time. But there are there is a mod for that. Um, I I personally don't recommend it because it tends to bog the, the the engine down even more than it already is. But hey, you know, you do you. 
there there is absolutely a uh, a mod for that uh i don't need an army i have the best sniper in the mojave yeah i mean for this game that's uh that's mccready he is uh he is definitely a good shot at long range now he's not quite boon but he's close uh and an ibot that gives him max perception yeah unfortunately there's no uh now i could build an ibot we could absolutely build an ibot let's see is there anything else i want to do in here let's also check our mods we don't have any mods in there good okay so let's let's work with this here let's take a look at oh that's what i wanted to do let's go back over here let's drop off there's really nothing wow we've got a lot of rad x i need to start selling that let's stash those brahmin meat stash the roll man meat yeah we've got a lot of that potato razor grain dirty water okay now we're doing okay we're getting our weight under control here good deal the companion mod, a.k.a. the CPU killer, right? <laughs> no kidding. Uh, my goodness. All right. So now we build the robot workbench. And let's see. Do I build the robot workbench out here? Let's see. Let's build Yep, robot workbench. And uh, once we finish Automatron, we can actually build an iBot station. And uh, we got an ad running at the moment, but I am looking for. What am I doing? What am I looking for? Okay, we have the workbench. Am I losing my mind here? I should be able to, uh... I should be able to... All right, so we built the robot workbench. Oh, I guess I have to work... I have to uh, build the robot workbench first, and then we'll talk to Ada, and then she'll tell us how to mod it, I guess. Hey, Ada. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Yep. It's time. Let's do this. Uh, actually, let's ask a question. Does it have to be you? I could install it on a different robot. My memory contains more relevant knowledge than any new robot you attempt to create. I appreciate true. your concern, but I can assure you I won't suffer any harm from the installation. So, are you ready? It's time. Let's do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Alright, so now we modify Ada. And you can modify Codsworth, which is pretty neat. But if you modify Codsworth, he can't wear a boulder uh, a bowler hat anymore. Um, and I I don't like modifying Codsworth. I like keeping Codsworth the same. So yes, let's put the radar beacon in there, and let's also go to the legs, and let's put a Mr. Handy Thruster so he doesn't get stuck on any, or so that she doesn't get stuck on anything. Perfect. There we are. There we go. That's fucking awesome. was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Do you think the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added fail-safes to ensure my location is secure and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. Good question. I don't really know, but that would apply to every Mr. Handy. Uh... It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. <laughs> With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Which means the one I destroyed isn't the only robo-brain under the mechanist's control. Yes. And we can use this to our advantage. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. True. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'm uploading the location of the Robo Brain to your Pip Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups. So you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. 
All right, so we got that done. Um, now, one thing I do want to do, we need six gears, four oil, four screws, four plastic, 12 aluminum, six fiberglass, three circuitry, four nuclear material. Fuck. All right, so I do need to have some extensive shit in here. Okay, so what we're going to do is new automatron. Yep, we're going to make this. Legs. Mr. Handy Thruster. Let's see what else we could build into its left arm. Uh, can we build a left hand laser? Yes, we can. All right, let's do that. Let's see, right arm, same thing. Can we just do a laser? Eh, it's fine, probably fine. Okay, for now, this will do. Now then, what we need to do. Uh, move. We will move that to Grey Garden. Good. That will go to Grey Garden now. So the next time we go to Grey Garden, that automat that extra robot will be there, and we can assign that robot to go back into the assembly line, and then we can build another robot workbench at Grey Garden. We can just use that as our robot factory. Since there are already robots there, that will make our lives much easier. Okay, medicine, right away, let's do that. Uh, all right, so we're good here for the moment. Let's proceed on course now that we've dealt with that. You know what, let's check out Mommy Murphy and see if she's got other- Remind me of myself when I was a young woman. <laughs> Always getting myself into trouble. Hey, come back for the site. I need Med X this time. Another cam, another window to look through. Yeah, here we go. Oh, <laughs> just everything feel good, don't it? I'm starting to see clearly. You're walking into a so, sea, but it's not water you're afraid of drowning in. It's something invisible, but radiant. It burns everything in it, but no, I can feel them. There's people calling out to something, chanting. They can show you the way, but they're so hard to read. Be careful around them, kid. I can't. <laughs> I almost thought I couldn't breathe there. Uh, heart's beating like no tomorrow. Gonna need to rest. So the site's very useful, and you're right. She's definitely no CZ. <laughs> so Sanctuary's coming together. It's still kind of a, you know... It's at least out of the way. Uh, yeah, I don't see... Don't see them. We can't sell. We can't do, um, sell any water at the moment. That's all right. There's a tank over there that we could go scavenge, but it's so radioactive. I usually don't even bother messing with it. Right. Plus, we have plenty of ammo for this thing. But all right, let's switch back to my trusty 10 millimeter while we run across here. But yeah, for the most part, when I'm dealing with uh, a heavily robot infested area. I'll, uh, I will temporarily uh, switch to a laser weapon. Um, and again, there's one exception to laser weapons I usually don't like a whole lot of, and that is a uh, Gatling laser. I love the Gatling laser. Holy shit, that weapon is awesome. But getting to deep prize comment, I usually don't mess with that until I get power armor. Yeah, yeah, come on. Get it together. Yeah, okay. Kind of hoping there'd be some Nuka Cola Quantum in there, but there isn't. Very sad. So let's pick up the pace here. And let's see, where is it actually sending me? Headhunting, huh? Where's the second radar beacon? Okay, so the second radar beacon's gonna be. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's a terrible place for the radar beacon. Oh, my God. That's gonna suck balls. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> And I go for power armor at the earliest opportunity. I mean, I hear you. There, there are, there's something to be said for a power armor build. Um, I usually don't go for power armor 
that early, but um, as soon as I can get a, t a T60 unit, uh, I, I, I will. Or when we join up with the Brotherhood, um, getting into things. Oh, fuck. That'll teach you to try to kill my dog. Bastard. <laughs> All right. And just like that. We're now done with the uh, automatron requirements and we'll get gun nut next, but we have to have hacker for a reason that will that will make sense, I promise. So that was a fortuitous run in with a raider. OK, so now we're going to run south. Uh, and at this point, we're going to head down south of the Boston area. And that area tends to be a little spicy with uh, super mutants and everything else. Oh my god, we're gonna have super mutant fucking suiciders. Yeah, we're gonna have to be a little careful around there, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> or so I try to tell myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I do tend to stick to the roads because it's a little... I mean, granted, when you kind of... This is cool. I do, I have to admit, uh, this you and, uh, you and what army mod uh, really does help make the Minutemen uh, a much more relevant um, faction. So it looks like the more settlements we're getting and further along in here we go, the more of these Minutemen way stations that are just popping up that I'm not even putting on. So that's pretty neat. I do like that. At some point soon I am going to reinstall We Are the Minutemen, but I'm holding off on that because that what that will do is that's also another Minutemen overhaul and everybody's going to have a uniform. And to me, it makes more sense to just install it mid playthrough so that at some point your faction, as you get more resources, it makes sense that you might either hire a bunch of tailors or maybe get um, a textile mill back up and running. And at that point, you can start manufacturing uniforms post-war, you know. Uh, again, we're dealing with getting... Um, Restoring civilization, and these things just don't happen overnight. I hear fighting going on in Lexington. So fuck all that noise. We're just going to keep going this way and avoid all that shit. Don't see anything over there. That's good. Down this way we go. Hopefully, that thing hasn't spawned yet. Doesn't look like it. Good. Okay, cool. We can now run. <laughs> What I didn't want to do is get caught in here because sometimes a very powerful raider will set up shop on that chair and that ends up being a very tough fight. And so I'd really rather not do that until I'm ready for it. <laughs> and when I say a tough fight, I mean a raider with a goddamn minigun. And he is a tough bastard. Man, you can even see the lights on the very top of Corvega. So at some point, we will have to get on the top of there and grab the bobblehead. But I am... I still don't feel like I'm quite ready to scale Corvega and deal with the sheer scale and magnitude and quantity of raiders that are up there. Resume running. And what's the easiest way down? I think we'll just continue going this way at this point. We've cleared this off enough, so we can just go, go through here. See anybody? Good. Good, good. Looks clear. <laughs> And let's see, is anybody on that bridge? Nope, nobody's on that bridge. Good, good. good. It's clear there. I don't remember what that garbled radio beacon is. Although we could go over there and deal with whatever's in there. Now nah, let's, let's not get sidetracked. <laughs> I've done that certainly enough. Uh, easiest. Yep, we'll just go around this way. There's a billboard that kind of collapsed. But this tends to be a somewhat safe route through all of this. My grilled radstag is still active. At some point, that's going to wear off. Now, back here. Oh. That sounds like a fight. Oh, my Minutemen got into, a got into an attack. Let's see. 
still don't see what's even under attack. <laughs> so that's funny. Ness is over here. <laughs> Shit. Wait, are my Minutemen fighting Ness? Traitor. Who are these guys fighting? Are they literally fighting each other? That's lame. Who are they fighting? Yeah, they are fighting. Uh, I think they are fight. Yeah, they're fighting the Minutemen for some reason. Well, whatever. Not sure why Ness is... Or I don't know why they're fighting them, but well, I could use the Minutemen outfit anyway. So let's grab that. No, the Minutemen's fine, and they're walking this way. What the hell were they even fighting? I never saw it. Well, oh, whatever. Fine. All right, fine. We'll turn on radio. Oh, okay, there we go. Now it, tr now it triggered. All right. Well, we'll let them just fight each other then. I did kind of want to talk to Ness because they will they will trade with you, but for some reason they're just fighting each other. Why? I'm not really sure. But this works in my favor because now we can go into apparel clothing and instead of um wait armor ah okay the vault 111 jumpsuit technically counts as uh armor i guess that's interesting probably because of the radiation uh but instead we will go to all and uh we're gonna equip the minutemen outfit since i'm the general and all I may as well at least have Minutemen gear. That's pretty cool. Now we're actually equipped with that. The advantage of that is uh, the Minutemen outfit boosts my agility and my perception. So those are two nice um, stat buffs from that. The only problem is my radiation resistance goes down by like 10. That part's not great. But, I mean, at this point, it makes it's starting to make less and less sense to keep wearing a vault suit. At this point, I'm really no longer a vault dweller as we get more involved into the uh, Minutemen quest line. Ooh, there was our cans. We're picking those up. Don't know how I missed that the first time, but we will pick up that bit of salvage that's just laying on the ground. At some point, we'll definitely want to um, clear out Hangman's Alley, but not until we get a little more established. And I'm going to make that almost like a scavenging station. And um, what I'll probably do is just either set up a radio beacon and turn it off after like four or five people show up there because all I really need is uh, enough there to man a couple of scavenging stations, have one as a provisioner, and then set up one on an artillery gun. And that's really all I need because that's a perfect location for artillery when we get artillery. Oh yeah, we need to clear that out, but not now. That'll be perfect once we get McCready back and once we defeat the mechanist. I don't think we're going to be able to defeat the mechanist tonight. I just don't think we're going to get through all of Automatron. Like something went down in Hardware Town recently. Don't know if it was raiders or gunners, but someone got their asses kicked. <laughs> raiders. It was raiders who got their asses kicked. And it was me doing the ass kicking. <laughs> oh, man. I love the fucking weather effects here. And, of course, more firing. The ruins of Boston are just a total shithole. I could have gone into Diamond City and bought more ammo, but I think I'm okay ammo-wise. So let's just proceed. Nice and slow. Nothing else here. Okay. Oh, we're going this way. Up. Oh. Yeah, we'll pick up the teeth. Radiant blood. Definitely want nuclear material. Nuclear material is awesome. Yeah, we'll take leather. We're going to need that. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. Hadrian's invitation. We didn't look at that. We're going to need to look at that. Let's do that real quick. Hadrian's invitation. Well, let's take a look at the in intervention note. 
You've been eating a lot of that food paste that we got from that Sulfolk school. It's affecting you, like, in a really bad way, man. And then they do just, like, they basically try to, you know, tell him he's addicted to it, and it's making him act weird. Uh, so we got that. Let's take a look at the Jamaica Plain Flyer. Come see the fabulous treasures of Jamaica Plain. And then uh, updated our map. I guess it's in a holotape. Adrian's Invitation. Yep, Adrian's Invitation. We have two of these holotapes now. Adrian, Carl, got a job you might be interested in. You know about Jamaica Plain, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey there. You wouldn't happen to know of any good places to settle down here, would you? I'm tired of always being on the run. Actually, sure do. <laughs> Let's send them to uh, Oberlin Station. Fuck yeah. Thanks. We'll see you there in a day or two. Hell yeah, that was awesome. Now that sounded like a fucking Yao Guai though, didn't it? Or am I imagining things? Nope. There's an albino rad stag. It was over here somewhere. Yep, right there. Fucker. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that thing would have fucked me up. But yeah, we'll... We'll grill some more rad stag in a minute. All right, so we got to deal with this after all. Holy fuck. Okay. What's the best way to approach this? So we're not going to we're not going to clear any of these locations, but we are going to go through it. Okay. Yeah, let's just take this road and we'll go down that way. And I think what we'll do is we'll set up a couple of mines. Yeah, we're going to set up a couple of mines. See if we can draw things in and deal with this shit. Oh, this is going to suck so much. <sighs> oh. Great. Ah, the mechanist robots are fighting the super mutants. Cool. Let's just watch them kill each other. Yep, you guys, uh... Yep, cool. That works for me. We're just gonna slowly follow them and let them kill each other for a minute. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoops, whoops. Nope, this guy's falling back. Let's uh, hide from that. Ah, shit, it's firing at beta. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, we killed the legendary, but boy, did we get into a firefight. All right, well, it begins. Careful, man. I don't think we're alone. Target down. <sighs> okay. All right, now it begins with this shit. Well, we got a quick draw boxing glove. Lovely. Although the quick draw effect might be something nice later. Let's take a look. Let's see what we can scavenge. It's like liquid nitrogen dispenser. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Oh my god, look at this shit. Let's take the nuclear material. Bottle cap. Oh, this one. So two dead suiciders out of three. That one, that suicider must have died from the other one, and we were able to recover its mini nuke. All right, let's deal with this so we don't get pincered here. Caravan guard, huh? So that's what you guys got into a fight over. Who's the caravaner? Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Listen to all that shit. Oh my God. <laughs> Radioactive gland. Yeah, we may as well. Let's just grab all this shit. We're not gonna go into the sewer. Sure, we'll take the nuka cherry. But we will at least scavenge what we can out of this. Now that's not anything we need. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right. Air Vanguard. There it is. All right. Well, the good news is. Hopefully these caravan guards will help us. Good, yep. You guys fight that fucking robot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> that was perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, if I could stay behind cover. There we go. It's time. But at least we were able to soften it up. Now it's the problem is it's going to explode. And that's probably going to make the, the truck explode. Wow, the truck did not explode. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Okay, we had two things that were hitting above our weight. Thankfully, these caravan guards were here. Cool. They're back. Still don't know. Ah, spot. Fine. Nope. Critical hit. <laughs> Help me, someone! <laughs> well... I think we're gonna have to just approach it. The Robo Brain's just hiding behind that wall. So that's unfortunate. Oh, Settler died. <sighs> Actually. There we go. At least we got a critical here. There we go, a bunch of criticals here. We'll just stay in vats. Oh shit, that's gonna do a lot of damage. <laughs> Stimpak time! Recover vats. Come on, vats, hurry up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> More Stimpaks! <laughs> shit. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Don't run out there. Man, that thing could fuck you up so bad. More vats. There we go. I think we got it. There we go. Whew. Boy, was that a tough fight. All right. But you can see why we... Uh, why I was really glad those caravan guards were there to help out with that. Because that made that a lot easier... That made that a lot easier. Man, these poor settlers, these guys didn't stand a chance against these robots. My god. Now the question is, what uh, what merchant was over here? We'll talk to Ada in a second. I want to see who was by here if they left. Caravan guard. Who, who was here? Let's see if we could do some business. Was it uh, Cricket? Alright, well I'm not going anywhere near that fucking place. Yeah, it's just spotting the caravan guards. All right, fine. We'll go over here. Holy cow. That was... Oh, Jesus. Really? All right. <laughs> God damn. Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And <laughs> with any luck, it'll help us the mechanist signal. Okay. And in case we couldn't figure, in case you'd forgotten, you know, this will help us kind of triangulate it. 
Uh, don't worry, I'll... Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another Robobrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. Good work, Ada. Thank you. If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> Location confirmed. The Robobrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. The plot thickens. Who or what are the Rust Devils? Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? Okay, now we just had to have have to go to uh, Fort Hagen Satellite Array. And that will take a while. But we may as well scavenge. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was uh, pretty brutal. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a fucking clusterfuck. The good news is we could just go over here. We could detect a couple of locations. We'll grab a couple. We'll grab some salvage while we're at it. Check this location, and then we'll double back. Let's see, is there anything useful in here? Yes, we like. We like ammo. Well, that wasn't ammo, but we'll take it anyway. Okay, so Fort Hagen satellite ray is going to be off to the west. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to head back up this way. We can go to, uh, we could go to Oberlin Station now and uh, send one of the provisioners to the castle. I think we're going to do that. So let's head west and then we'll go connect to the rail line. We'll head that, we'll take that up to Oberlin Station. Those settlers that we sent there should be there by the time we go back up there. And that will be nice because then we could start getting closer and closer to getting the uh, castle up and running. Really up and running. So Fallon's is a cool location. It's an old clothing store. Sure, grab that. We'll grab that. Uh, I do enjoy clearing that location. That's a really cool unmarked location. This uh, parking lot it ends up being a maze. We'll, we'll go through that at some point. I really enjoy that. A lot of people apparently miss that because it's unmarked. And I guess a lot of people don't realize you can go in there and it's got a whole bunch of array of devious, crazy traps. It's, it's fun. It's neat. We got fighting going on up there. Yeah, sure. Let's find out what they're, let's find out what they're shooting. Maybe give an assist while we're up there. Oh, fuck it, since we're here. Okay, we'll set that. <laughs> I love... Fucking, uh, Ada talking shit. Prepare to be annihilated! <laughs> Fucking sentry bot. And boom. Okay. Let's salvage that. Let's see what was in here that was worth it. We'll take the empty paint can. We'll take the blowtorch, the gas canister. Hell fucking yeah. Good shit. Yes. Definitely worth it. Even though Sentry Bot is bananas. <laughs> but we've defeated our first Sentry Bot. Now, if I'd been smarter, what I would have done is laid down a couple of mines. So the second it kind of came out, it would have hit a mine. And we probably could have arrayed it so it would have hit two mines before it could have tried started to shoot at us. 
We do the way, we're good. Up here we go. Just... I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah, there's nothing down there. Just radiation. <laughs> Just pain. Nothing in there. Yeah, nothing in there. Up to Oberlin Station we go. Hopefully those settlers are there by now. That would be really convenient. If the settlers are... What is that? Just a leveled house. Oh, right. I know it's up that way. <laughs> nope. We're not messing with that right now. All in due time. All in due time. Here we go. Overland Station is not too far away now. And in the event that they're not there yet, what we'll do is we'll dump what we did salvage. Um, maybe just find a chair or something and we'll wait. Because if we wait, the settlers will show up. And at that point, we'll be, we'll be fine. Jump that. That is not Overland Station yet. That's just a random tower here. All right, and then there's this. Well, we found the distress signal, which means we're closing in on Oberlin Station now. Depending on how this goes, what we might do is just get to the Rust Devils base. We'll clear the outside of it. And then once we... Um, Once we actually get to it, then we'll then we'll kind of cut stream. That'll be a good place to stop. And then what we'll do is the next stream, we'll actually go through the Dust Revels base, get the last Robo Brain, and at that point prepare to actually take out the Mechanist. But I was I, I kind of figured that um, that Automatron would take us two two streams. It's just it's not the quickest of. Um, of DLC to get through. There we go. Let's see. Oh, and let's go in here. Yep. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Definitely want the squirrel stew. Squirrel stew gives you an XP boost. So if you're about to uh, complete a bunch of quests, it can be really advantageous to do that. All right. So I don't see our other settler. Oh, we have a radio beacon set up here. Man. Hey. Yes. God, that's annoying. <sighs> oh, she doesn't have anything like that. All right. So, okay. Cool. Well, fine. I guess what we'll do here then. Yeah, it's set up for five people. Just they haven't gotten here yet. Pain in the ass. Fine. 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 Let's. Scrap this. Scrap that. Scrap that. Wood. Good. We've got that supply. We've got those supplies now. We've got these. Good deal. Okay. Let's build a chair. Furniture. Chairs. Uh, you know what? A bench is going to be just fine. Oh, look. There they are. Perfect. Never mind. We don't have to wait after all. Here they are. <laughs> Perfect timing, guys. They were literally just behind us. Cool. All right. So supply line, the castle. Perfect. Good. Okay. So that takes care of that. Now all we need to do very quickly. Now we can build a bunch of sleeping bags and beds for that matter. But all we really need to do is make sure everything's covered. So what we're going to do very quickly, structures, um, warehouse, Let's build a, we'll build a wall. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be like one of the goofiest, all over the Commonwealth. The Minutemen are back. this is going to be a little goofy, but. We'll just do this for now. Because with a roof, 
what it'll do is um, it'll count as covered. And these are things we're going to build anyway. So fuck it. Do that. Do that. Perfect. Good. Okay. Marvelous floors. Uh, oh, that's convenient. Sure. That works. That's fine. I don't really give a shit that you can't build there. Nope, that's all fine. Okay. Beds. Yeah, this is fine. For now, this will do. This will actually, fuck it. Let's build the real beds. Doesn't need to be elaborate. Just needs to be here. Okay. For now, that's fine. It's covered. It's not great. It's something. It's fucking shelter. <laughs> Gotta organize your sims, right? I mean, it's, it's kind of part of this whole thing. Um, all right. So one thing I will do here is structures. Let's go to wood. We're going to go here. All right. And now we're going to uh, make sure this is set up properly. Good. Set up that. Him. Come on. Work with me here. Okay, never mind. We're going to just do this. It won't snap to each other, but it will do this. So that's what we're going to do. Must be difficult about it. <laughs> well, one, one way to skin a cat. So we'll do that. This way, it's got a nice little bridge over here. Again, tricking the system to actually do what we want. Oh, damn tree is in the way. Fucking thing. Fine. Mm -hmm. That'll do. That will do. Now, this again. You. Down. And just like so. And just like that, we've now built this. And the idea here is I'm going to put a bunch of turrets up there. So, uh, aha. I win. And now let's see how many turrets we can actually build with just the. Uh, oh, we can actually build a fairly decent number of these. And this is just the, the facilities that we've got here. And at the castle. This isn't even like the entire thing connected here. All right, but now Oberlin Station's properly defended. And what I kind of have planned here is to turn Oberlin Station into my logistics base and have Oberlin Station be the location where I ship things all over the Commonwealth. Now, obviously, I can't repair the train tracks, but we could at least use the rails as a map almost like a little mini highway road where my provisioners can kind of go to and from and kind of take care of everything. And that's, uh, at least that's the idea here uh, as we get things going here. All right, so there's that. So now, now we cruise up here. And let's just kind of show you what that looks like right now. So we've got the castle, which interestingly only has one person. Did my other Minutemen die? That's not good. Did my other Minutemen die? That would suck. Or is the game registering it wrong? It's possible the game's registering it wrong. The next time I go to the castle, we'll see what the story is there. Uh, it's possible that only the Radio Man survived. It could be that the Myler Queen killed all my other Minutemen. Uh, that's that's happened before. Uh, although I thought we saved them all, but whatever. Uh, so we've got Oberlin Station here, and everything else is linked up here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Grey Garden, and the one robot we built and sent there, we're going to connect as a provisioner to Starlight Drive-In. And then we're going to build another robot and connect it to Oberlin Station. And just like that, every settlement that we've got will be linked with provisioners. And at that point, it just kind of all comes together. So up here we go. Right. Yeah, good. We already did that. Yeah, yeah. And Ada is such a cool companion. Number one, she's got a good carry weight. 
like I said, all your all your other companions, which I don't understand what Bethesda was thinking in the voice acting portion of the game. Because when you pick up junk, your companions all give you shit for it. And yet settlement building is such a critical component of this game. So I don't understand why your companions constantly talk shit about it when it's something you absolutely need to do in... I mean, you don't need to, but it was clearly such a vital plan. Uh, can I not scrap those? Okay, now I can. Fine, we'll scrap these. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. All right, we'll keep those materials. All right, we'll scrap those. Okay. Now, the only question is, where is that robot that we sent here? Come on, where are you, buddy? Where are you? We need to find him. There's that robot. I do not see that robot. That robot didn't go up on them. So sometimes your provisioners, they can actually go up on this highway. And we can actually build up there. I've done that before. It's actually pretty fun. I don't see our other robot, which is I'm a little... I don't do <laughs> that is pretty funny. Unless our other uh, robot just hasn't gotten here yet, we could wait and see if they show up. Um, we could also go up there and just make sure they're not up there. But if we cruise in here, seven, so there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think our, our robot is registering. It just isn't here yet. It's taking its sweet fucking time. I'll probably have to build a chair and wait for it. God damn it. It's fucking killing me here. But all right, fine. Let's build a chair. <laughs> what we were going to do at the other place, but now we actually do need to do it. Fine. We'll build a bench. We'll just build a bench right here. Fine. Bench. We'll sit. We'll wait. <laughs> Gotta organize our sims. Yeah. Uh, We'll wait two hours. That should be sufficient for our... Should be sufficient for our fucking robot to show up. I almost wanted to build the workbench here. Oh, fuck's sakes. Is it up there? God damn it. I bet you the robot's up there. See it. Let's go up. Go up and just make sure our robot is not up here. I'll be annoyed if our robot is up here at this point. All right. Now we can't scrap anything in this, but we can build up here. So we'll scrap the tire. Yeah. Scrap that. We could scrap certain things up here. We'll scrap those tires. We'll scrap that car. We'll scrap that car. All right. So I don't see a robot up here. That's good. See how far the settlement is over here. Okay, we're outside the boundary. Yep. <laughs> I should be able to scrap that traffic cone. Where the fuck is that robot? God damn it. What a pain in the ass. Ugh. I wonder if I could just build the robot workbench. And just... Sign them now. Is frustrating because I sent that. I did send that automatron here. I know I sent it. Problem is, yeah, we're oh we're short only one oil. Seriously, we're only short one oil. You know what? Let's see. Maybe we got one more oil sitting around somewhere. Let's go find out. Damn it! I built one too many turrets. <laughs> if I didn't build, if I built one less turret, we'd be okay. Uh, I can't. Is it canceled? Uh, scrap that. Maybe it will give us the oil, but fine. We'll scrap these. I didn't want to scrap those, but we'll scrap them anyway. Fine. Scrap the dish rag. Ugh. God damn it. What in the 
pain in the ass. You serious right now? Did any of those? No. Not one single fucking oil. We're gonna be sabotaged by one fucking whatever. Fine, we'll have to come back. Really didn't want to... I wanted to do that now, but it's not gonna happen. Alright. So be it. Although, you know what? Let's just check over here. Maybe there's some oil in here. Be nice, wouldn't it? Yep, screwdriver. You know what? Let's just go in here. Let's see if there's anything useful in this Grey Garden homestead. Since it is right next door. I can't believe we're short all of one oil. But if we're short that much, we're probably not going to be successful at... Um, yeah, there's an expert door here. Let's go pick this. I don't think we're going to end up doing the quest that involves this location, but it's uh, here. Baby rattle. Yeah, I'll take the Abraxo cleaner. I'll take the camera. Sure, because we could use rat poison. Come on, give me oil, motherfucker. Oil! I mean, the magnifying glass is nice. We'll disarm the Tesla arc. Toolbox. A little more. We got it. Perfect. Got it. Yes, flip lighter. There we go. Sweet. All right. Fucking victory here. The little things. I'll take a metal bucket. Fuck it. We we're just gonna end up going. So uh, going right back. So there's no reason to be efficient. Let's just grab everything. If it's not bolted down, we're grabbing it. <laughs> Normally we're uh, we're a little more judicious with what we grab, but not today. Not today. Today we grab fucking everything. Drinking glass. Hell yeah. Oops. Yeah. Fine. Ceramic. Yep. Grab that. Grab that. Sure. Circuitry. Ooh. Typewriter. Sweet. Cool. All right. Mentats. We're definitely taking the mentats. Broken. Yeah. That's the door that uh, the quest required relies on. That ends up being a um a late game quest if uh if we even get that far i'll explain later on what um any of this might be relevant to but in the meantime let's grab everything cool all right sweet let's get the hell out of here we go back to gray garden we build our robot workbench and then we're probably going to be thwarted because we don't have the resources to build our own fucking robot <laughs> i can almost promise that's how this is going to go <laughs> it's so predictable but we're going to try anyway. Because we're already here. Shit, maybe what we'll do is I'll just try to connect this. And then what we'll do is I'll approach the, um, hell, you know, we might even just wrap up here. And then do the approach to that next time. It's been about three hours. Granted, I don't usually stream for a very specific period of time. And then call it quits. I usually just kind of keep going. But this might end up being a very logical place to uh, to call it. Come on. That will do. All right. So let's see. Come on, buddy. And you. Ow! Ow! Cat's nipping at me here. Uh, legs. Can I do a? Can I do a Mr. Handy Thruster? Yes, we have enough ceramic and materials to do that. Perfect. All right. Automatron. You are going to Starlight Drive-In. There we go. All right. And just like that, now all of those materials play in. Good. Everything's coming together now. That is fucking beautiful. So now we got the Mute Fruit Farm that's connected. That is awesome. Hi, Cleo. Oh, you're going to sit on my foot? Okay. Yep, she's sitting on my foot. Well, now my foot's warm. <laughs> oh, you're such a floofball. Alright, so now we can cruise over here. At some point, that other automaton automatron will show up. But uh, the reason why I do the Mr. Handy Thruster on all of these is so they don't get hung up on things. Now you are going to go to Oberlin Station. 
Perfect. All right. Now. There it is. That's a thing of beauty. Okay. Now everything is properly connected. Excellent. All right. Now we head west. Um. So, yeah, that's no, actually a good question. Is this the, a good point for me to... Is this a good point for me to call it? Or do we cruise over here and get to where we're ultimately going to go and start that next stream? Actually, I think let's let's call it here for right now. And um, yeah, we'd, we'd still have to make our way over here, which isn't all that far, but we can do that next time. I think this is a good starting point for next stream. So let's save. Let us save. Let us save and close out and let's see who might be on because the new raid screen is pretty much garbage. Oh, Kai Parasite's on. He's playing Donkey Kong 64. So yeah, let's do that. Let's raid. Let's raid Kai. That sounds like a good plan. In the meantime, uh, let's see channel update i i might even come back to this again on thursday night i'm uh kind of on a roll for it so that might be the plan but whether or not i stream thursday night or not i will absolutely um be back to um need this plan out. uh oh okay well maybe that's why things aren't working so yes let's add that that's a beautiful thing uh oh. Just said add ads manager. No, it's not going to do it. But it prompted me for that before and decided not to do that. But okay. All right. Now you're now you're not going to do anything. That's super awesome. Uh, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> all right. There we go. Raid channel. It's all starting. Uh, no. Well, <laughs> the ad's going to start. No. Snooze that. <laughs> uh, we're raiding. We don't need an ad right now. I want to thank everybody for coming through um and spending their their tuesday night with me this was super fun come on there it is uh and if i see you on thursday or if i'm gonna see you get uh get on with it <laughs> uh so yeah i actually don't i need to enable those uh for the ending part of the stream uh but thank you again like i said i do appreciate it thank you everybody who's subscribed you guys are awesome uh i truly am i'm very very grateful i have so much fun on here and i'm uh i'm just uh, it, this is this is just an awesome experience every time so uh yeah without any further ado let's raid kai let's see how he's doing and uh whether or not it's thursday or saturday and like i said saturday i will be playing earthbound for sure um and i might be playing fallout 4 uh on thursday just depending on how this week is going and in the meantime um that's about it so for now have a great remainder of your week and i will see you guys on the next one ciao